What is the issue? Waking me up so early. There were no wild buffaloes. There were no wild buffaloes in the yard last night. No, there wasn't. Where'd you come up with these far-fetched stories, boy? Uh, what do I got? What do I got in my pocket? Big giant milk bones. See what I deal with? There is no sleeping past 6.30 a.m. The hootins begin then. Who do we have over here? Are you over here listening to all those crazy story? There's your milk bone telly tellers. Here. She's been hanging around a lot. Yeah, she's been hanging around a lot lately. She gets good food over here. There she goes with her milk bone. Let's go see. I think I got one more of those creatures over here. Just doing the morning chores. There's no getting up and drinking a cup of coffee here. They don't let you do it. They just don't. Look at that. Waddles is up complaining. And you're stuck around the pole again. Alright, let's fix you. Uh, she, this is a new thing. She's got a pole in there. If I leave her out, she gets wrapped around it. She's never done that. But it's a new thing. You guys are lazy this morning. You're still up in your up in there. Come on, you got your scratch out here. You want to go out with the babies? Look at this. See little scratch marks on the door? Now you see how they get done. They're out there, and they need a little crazy one, and that's you. you go out there and bark with them. Yep. She's got. A, she hears him barking. <coughs> Yeah, because there's a stray dog over there. Where's Telly? Did Telly leave? Yeah, Telly left. Look at you. You're like a polar bear in a snowstorm. What is all the commotion about? You guys never, never let me sleep in till 7. Ever. Ever. This one comes and scratches at me. She's taking a poop. Ever seen a rooster take a poop? Oh, nah, oh. you have. Yeah, because the milk bones, you gotta have milk bones first thing in the morning, don't you? Oh, oh. Uh. All right, 22 hours later. That's right, 22 hours. Because, you know, once they're dry, they're not gonna get any drier. So I figure let them run. Let's check it out. Let me see. Cayennes. Oh yeah, they're dry. Crispy. Crispy. Not these. I didn't figure those would get dry. But everything else appears to be dehydrated. So, I'll probably do something with them. Because there's no sense in letting it, letting it run anymore. All right, let's get down to the basil, or no, basil. I'm not awake yet. Look at that little, look at that little old pepper. That's dry as hell. That's one of them uh, Mexibels. Oh yeah, that stuff's dry. Look at it. All right, now we're going to go get some sage, some basil. Few other things we're gonna load it up let it run again I like it all right guys today we are gonna dehydrate some pineapple sage and the nice thing about pineapple sage is you can just take these leaves just fresh off the plant uh, 
Oh, chop them up in some salad. They're edible. Even the flowers are edible. And very tasty too. Very sweet nectar in there. Now these came from like South America. Uh, they used them, they, they put them in tea. It's used uh, for anxiety, things like that. So, I mean, all around, it's a pretty good plant. I should have got to these sooner because the leaves are smaller now. The heat did, uh, didn't do it any favors. So I'm gonna pick some of the biggest leaves out and we're gonna dehydrate some of them as well as some of the flowers. So I'm gonna start picking leaves and throwing it in there. And these are perennial. So they'll come back every year. I'm just picking the biggest ones I can find. And I might even try some of that tea. I don't know. But I don't have no anxieties. I don't sweat things. I don't fret things. But if you do, hey, pineapple sage. And like I said before, I'm going to plant these up front next year. They're the hummingbirds, it's their number. It's one of their top three favorite foods. I'll see them all the time feeding off these flowers. So they're just good to have around. I need more of them. All right. I'm not going to bore you with picking all of these. All right, guys. I thought I would give this pineapple sage tea a try. I'm not a tea person, but supposedly pretty good stuff I've had it seeping probably 10 minutes or so, so I'm gonna pour that in the glass it's kind of you know got a little yellowish tint to it let's throw a couple of them in there and I'll bet you I can put these in the basket with the mother dudes and dehydrate them in there Here goes nothing. It's pretty hot, but I'm gonna give it a taste. Let me sniff on it. Smells pretty good. Tastes pretty good too. That is not bad. All this time been growing out there could have made myself a beverage and they also say you can put this in ice water and have a nice cold drink with it so pineapple sage well let's call it tea iced tea you can put the leaves in a salad and eat them you could probably put them leaves in regular iced tea I don't see why not it's actually very good I like this better than tea, hot tea, from tea leaves. This is good. You can go have you a fresh cup every morning if you grow your own plant. You can also break off a piece of that plant right where it turns brown, I've seen, and it propagates very easy. So next year, we're going to have them everywhere. Man, I like that. That has a unique taste. Pineapple sage tea. Who the fuck about that? I like it. Give it a try, folks. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We're going to see how everything dehydrated and get her put away in the containers. I'll take the lid off. Put it right there. As I showed before, the peppers did very, very well. They're nice and dry. Oh, they'll crush up real fine. And what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put them in a container and I'll crush them. Well, we'll crush a few up now. Waldo gave me this uh, nice container to use. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> you go figure. Where do dogs get such things? I don't know. So, let's crunch a few up. And uh, I know they're... I think you're supposed to put them in like a... Let me get a Ziploc baggie here. Alright, let's put a few in there. I'm gonna kind of pull them stems off. 
All right. Now this is just going to be a variety. We'll put some cayennes in there. Let's just do a few because I'm, the rest of them I'm going to put in there whole. Let them dry out a little more. But these, these they're as dry as they're going to get. All right. So we got a few in there, and we're just going to crunch them up like such. Oh, they crunch real nice. Real nice. I think next year I'm going to be growing a lot more herbs because they handle the heat and I may do my own spices for friends and family and whoever wants them. So as you can see there, let's get some out. We got a good, and I'll crush them up a little more, but got a good variety of spices there. And they will crush completely in the powder. I'm going to get something and grind them up. But, yeah. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and put that back in there. Because that's eventually where it's all going to end up anyway. Is in a container. These need to go a little more. I'll put them in with the uh, pineapple sage when I do it. I'm not going to film doing the pineapple sage. You already got a little clip on that. But for now, we're just going to take the dried ones and put them in this Waldo jar that he so graciously gave me. Get in there. Alright, we're going to get this layer off and then we're going to get to the sage or the, uh, what is a, I don't even remember what's down there, man. What, oh, rosemary and thyme. Okay, we'll get to that. Alright, let's get this layer off. Get out of there. Waldo. That boy, he comes up with some ideas, don't he? More of the same. Look at these <laughs> Look at <them> little things. <laughs> Look like little dried up pumpkins. And this is the rosemary. Oh yeah. Nice and dry. So what I'll do is probably strip. I may bag them up like this. And then uh, as I need them, I could use them. And wow, look at look at that. Uh what is it? I don't remember what it is. Oh, I, I got my memory issues again. Rosemary and thyme. Okay, so this is, it's time. It's time to use the thyme. Get you down there for a closer look. And then I'll just strip this off. This is going to be a little time consuming, but we'll get it done. All right, guys, I came back. because I forgot about the old ninja here. And these Pablo Anchos, yes, they did dry up very well. So what I've done, I have taken the, uh, taken the stems off of all the peppers. I imagine you can leave them on. I just don't want them in there. We're going to grind these dudes up. I think we got the, no, it ain't backwards. Well, for the love of Mickey Mouse, get in there. Let me ponder on in there. Look at it. Gotta look at it. Woo! Just right. Oh my god, my nostrils are burning from that dust. There we have it, man. Dog man's <coughs> oh, chili spice. I ain't kidding you. That's gonna be hot. Look in there. Beautiful. Uh oh. Oh! I knew that was coming. And there we have it, guys. You might say, Dog man, why do I want to make my own spice? I can go to the grocery store and buy it. Yeah. You pay that price. It's better to make your own than buy anything. Get used to it. Those times are coming. Happy trails.